Hi again, YouTube. Um, I was going to talk to about the reference in the Bible about dry bones living. And that, quite frankly, is um, who you serve on this planet. Whether you're um, like the living dead, like walking like uh, zombies, like uh, brain dead for um, your soul, but living in the flesh like a Satanistic creature, you know. <clears throat> and the dry bones that live are us that can rise our electrical soul out of our bones like that. I mean, that brings to mind, and I'll touch on that. I hope I don't get cut off. Um, out of body experiences and people meditating and not that being silent and recharging isn't a good idea. It's a bad idea to try and be out in the ether with your soul, your mind, your third eye, that's one thing. But to literally try and go in self-hypnosis and put yourself in the ether puts you vulnerable for Satan himself to devour you out there because he will scramble your brains. That's what he does. So if you're not walking with God and you're playing in the ether, you're in danger. So that I think I think I made my point there. But going back to the electricity in us and uh, the lightning rods that our bones actually are, like our femur being one long one and in our toroidal, um, with that exchange of electricity between God and us, that life force, that spark. Uh, how when we get older, you can actually feel it. The, like it's the gases like leaving, but the electric's still there. But the weird thing is, the older I get, I feel like God's holding me more. But if I'm having a bad day, that, that, um, it's like a crying baby. And then it starts like kicking at you or something because it's crabby, you know, like a two and a half, three year old. And then you're holding it out then you're like oh no no you don't do that you be nice you know you have everything you need okay you're having a bad day let's fix this you know and that's kind of like god too you kind of do loosen the grip a little bit on the little thing oh you're not so cuddly right this second you know type of feeling so if you're not being held is what i'm trying to say when your bones are condensing, you're like a raisin. You were a grape. And you can actually feel your energy going somewhere the older you get. Um, and that reminded me of reincarnation and its condensed melt. You know, so actually our souls are being squished out of our vessels. You know, it's... Um, better hope you're holding God's hand when all this is going on. Uh, from what I understand, there could be like ghosts. But from what I understand, that is all over. And them even having a chance to be like what they call a walk-in into a vessel or something on this fleshly plane. That's the end of days, like time's up type of thing. And um, that uh, rabbi talking about, which means teacher or messenger, <laughs> uh, reincarnation is super, super excellent. I am going to put the link to it in here. Um, yeah. He's smart, you know, and there might be some aspects of his teachings that I've even heard in the past that I don't 100% agree, you know. I, I'm okay with that, you know. <laughs>
maybe. You know, we, you know, no matter who we're listening to in life, you have to, uh, it's a constant thing, no matter how close or how, how much respect you have for a person, they're still a human being and they could fall short. So you always have to use your own discretion with everybody. Now, if you know that they're really just really close to God and most likely they're not going to hurt you, and they do something silly to you or they do, you know, like hurt your feelings or something. They're going to try and make a way to make that right. And then you'll be able to tell if that energy is like, okay, you know. Well, that's how I feel about Rabbi Simon right now. I don't know if I'm okay with his spirit right this second, but... um we all have our stories to tell and our uh, missions in life. And when we do encounter each other in life, you know, that's a part of our mission. That person, whether it's a wait staff or convenience store worker or, um, you know, whoever, somebody on the internet then we become a part of each other's stories like that. I believe that. And I believe that there's a reason. And we'll see if you actually know that people are a part of that situation and that story, and you know that they've done the same things many lifetimes. Like if you see indications of replays in your life things like patterns that's god telling you that you there's something stuck here that the, this pattern trying to show you something probably for many lifetimes that you ignored for some reason and it could be the very last time he's trying to tell you this you know, and that is if something, it's like if you keep doing the same thing, you're going to keep getting the same outcomes. You know, it's, that's like true science. Tried and true, tested in truth. Like biological male and females are different in many ways. <clears throat> Men have to learn how to love. Women are born with it. It's a fact. Yeah. And if you have a sound whole family, um, boys would acquire that at a very young age, but sometimes they don't. And sometimes girls can have that taken out of them, and then the testosterone in them goes into the mind mostly and Satan will use it against them and they become more male-minded and less feminine in that respect. And that happens in reverse with men too. It's an actual biological thing like you are what you eat so you think that way. And that's who you become, you know. true but we have what these people will refer to and they're wild in their minds and it is the Nephalan bloodline and they consider themselves a new breed of animal or a hybrid it's like don't insult God with your nasty bullshit you're just a fallen person that used to be an archangel that took it for granted. You thought you were ahead of human beings. And you didn't have even a smidgen because you can't ascend by yourself. That's the bottom line on this, for them, a prison planet for the average person that's uh, supposed to be paradise bringing heaven down here. That's our mission.
<laughs> you know, for the souls that still have some learning to do and the ones that never want to, um, they won't be here. So that's uh, the reign of Christ to teach everybody else how to respect each other and carry on with humanity like it's meant to be in a, um, without the wicked. So, all right, that's um, kind of, it's, it's an electric thing, <laughs> you know, and so much more. So I'm going to put that link to reincarnation and if you listen to some of his other videos and they're a little bit off in any way, um, I don't believe anything that he'd say would take you away from God or your belief in Christ, if that's how you believe, or even if you don't believe in that, some of the teachings and just a respectful older person, um, a male figure that I think other gentlemen and ladies, you'll really enjoy that. Um, so that's my opinion. Okay, everybody, have a nice night or day wherever you're at. Thank you for joining me. I love you bunches. Peace.